Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. We're talking about soulmates that are in separation and the current energies. Guys, I want to thank you so very much for liking this video, for subscribing to the channel. It's deeply appreciated guys. Let's find out what is going on with these soulmates in separation currently. Well, opportunity is beckoning them. They have had to face their darkest fears. Love abounds. <laughs> this person has, a, has to make a decision. Choose your battles. The, the truth is they're lost without you. They're like a lost compass. I don't know. Something about control. Oh, they're standing up, taking leadership, taking control. You've taught them. You have taught them. Choose your battles. If you're lost, feeling controlled, take leadership. If you're not lost, share the love. That's what this person wants to do. They're feeling helpless and hopeless. Give me a break. So... They cannot, they're trying to gain leadership here. They're feeling helpless and hopeless. And they need to take a leadership role. Take control of their own flow of their own life. Choose their battles. They're in love with you. Okay? So what's going on? They want a new beginning. Well, stand there feeling helpless and hopeless. Take a leadership role. Take control of your life in the direction you want it to go in. They know what they got to do. See? Completion. Completion of a cycle. They are recuperating from being... See, they were at the land of indecisions. Which way do I go? What do I follow? What do I do? Well, they chose a new prospect. A page. You trusted your intuition here. You knew darn well that this was a two-cup situation. You were loyal. You offered this person loyalty. This person's life is out of balance. So that's what they, they couldn't choose. Maybe they were feeling hopeless and helpless. Something to do with uh, perfection. Were they looking for the perfect prospect? Thinking that they were going to find perfection? Yeah, they did. It's about hmm. Yeah, they want to they look at you as perfection. Look at you as victorious. They want to communicate with you. You're very charismatic. You were a leader and you have taught, ooh, see? This is dissatisfaction. It's satisfaction upright, but they're dissatisfied somehow. What? There is a distraction here because this person was seeking perfection you know, the perfect 
Maybe they're dissatisfied now. They either were dissatisfied with you thinking that they could find someone perfect. Yeah. Needed a distraction. You know, they weren't feeling satisfied. I think this person was striving to find the perfect person, which doesn't exist. They were very immature. Knight of Wands, give me a break. Seeking excitement, needing a distraction, weren't satisfied with the love that they had. Why? Because they were seeking perfection, which doesn't exist. Because they were trying to control something. This person had a vision that you were going to release them because they did. They had a vision that they were going to be released. Yeah, this empress, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. You knew they were being deceitful. So this is the truth. You were the guide, you were the teacher. This person was deceitful, was a fool, changed everything. Started drama. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. There's some conspiracy here. It's almost like this person deliberately started a drama, deliberately started something as a distraction to distract you from leaving them. They concluded wrong. They made the wrong conclusion. It's almost like this person is easily distracted. You know, they were looking for like the perfect person and they got distracted and started talking to someone. There's something fishy about this. This person started their own drama. This person started their own uh, some kind of distraction, trying to keep you distracted or trying to like something to do with that, something going on here. Someone codependent. Oh my God, this person figured you were codependent on them. That you couldn't make it alone. They started up a bunch of rumors or gossip as a distraction because they had a vision that they were going, that they had a vision that you were going to end things with them. So they started up a bunch of drama, people forming conclusions, bad conclusions, 
because they thought that you were, I don't know, Queen of Swords in reverse. This is someone very cunning, very calculating. So your person and this person got together, collaborated, This is someone very cunning, very, very deceitful. Queen of Swords in reverse. There's something else going on here. Your person started the drama. They had a vision that you were going to end things with them. And like a fool, they listened to a Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? What's the motive? Obsession. Hmm. So this is truth, justice, and movement. Hmm. They concocted a plan. They had a vision that you were going to end the relationship with them, so they started a bunch of drama, used another energy, to get people all talking about you. They thought it was the perfect plan. This person is trying to get the heat off their back somehow. By starting all this drama, they're trying to get the heat off of them and their actions. something going on here. Ooh. Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. With the devil. Someone very unloving. Very cold. Calculating. Shrewd. Sinister. Creating anxiety. Because <sighs> they thought that this person was going to heal things with you. Yike. This is someone from their past. A romance. So someone wanted vengeance. Someone got some knowledge. See? About a plan. Something about um, 
this is the emperor structure see misrepresentation of words misrepresenting themselves planning to misrepresent misinterpreting uh oh misinterpreted something here underestimated you misinterpreted something to do with trust stuck giving some kind of So this calculated person was planning to keep this person stuck, wanting revenge on some kind of financial support that they had to give. You're caught in the crossfire here. They've been done nothing but invoke karma upon their own heads. This is, you offered this person nothing but kindness and support. Celebrations. Oh my God, fear and insecurities. There is someone uh, from this person's path, past. They're hiding something. They were using a karmic energy as a distraction. Because this person had a vision that you were going to end things with them. They created a bunch of drama. They created a bunch of diversions somehow as a smoke screen going on here. Oh my God. So this person is dealing with somebody from their past who is very cold, shrewd, calculating. It's something to do with this person's they're an obsessive, controlling, manipulative, cunning, calculating person. Oh, 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 ah. So this person who they were dealing with were planning on getting revenge on you. And somehow they involved a new prospect to keep this crazy one off their path of you and put the diversion onto the karm onto another karmic. <laughs> oh my god. So your person was dealing with someone from their past who is very cold, callous calculating shrewd evil very evil and they figured while well, you are with this person they were taking revenge out on you when honestly this person didn't want to deal with them they started a drama though your person started a drama and everybody was forming conclusions or something but they were forming the wrong conclusions. So your person involved another karmic energy to as a diversion, a smokescreen, to keep this crazy one off of your path. Because this person loved you.
this is a cold, calculating, vindictive, um, no empathy for anybody. So we're talking about a, a feminine narcissist. Who wanted revenge on you, thinking that you were the one who broke them up. They're very insecure, paranoid. They could be a schizophrenic. They're getting their karma. Immature. So, this karmic that they're dealing with is very, very greedy, money hungry. Saw your person as the King of Pentacles, a hard worker. Very, very immature, easily led. Hmm. Because this person saw you as very temperate, very patient. told you you're dealing with a paranoid so this is a person who your person had rejected maybe for you maybe they were a player and maybe this is someone they had ended a cycle with completed a cycle with and they were paranoid, feeling rejected. This is someone who don't sleep. They, they're high anxiety. They're stressed out all the time. They're paranoid. They're absolutely paranoid. Ah, see? That's that Queen of Swords wants to come in reverse. Calculating, cold, vindictive, vindictive, B-I-T-C-H. See, and now this person made you an offer. They had, oh. So they were not in a commitment with this person. The, or your person was non-committal to this person, whoever it was. Uh-huh. Because your person was, like, giving the money or something. Ooh, obsessed with your person. How much money? How much money do you have? Give me money. Pay, 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 pay. They paid for everything. Here are you over. That's why your person liked you. Because you were independent, self-sufficient. So what's the snake in the grass doing here? Ooh, I don't like it. The devil, the queen of swords in reverse with the high priestess in reverse.
someone very self all about self wanted to destroy this relationship to fill their own cups o m g so what is this distraction all about here hmm oh 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 Your, this person that I am reading for entertained, they had you over here, they had an ex over here, and they involved a new person. as a distraction because this crazy ex was out to get you because they knew that this person loved you that they were gonna propose to you so they involved another karmic energy because this envious one here felt betrayed your person did betray them But maybe this person was out to get you and they involved another one to keep this one off your trail. Yeah. The moon in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. It's a plan, a strategy here, guys. Because this person from their past, this is an ex-girlfriend or an ex-wife who they are no longer together, no longer with, wanted revenge, thinking that if I could just eliminate this Empress, that I could get my way. It's because of them. So this person had so much vengeance that they wanted to attack this Nine of Pentacle energy. It's not fair. I've been betrayed. I was deceived. Yet. They were obsessive, controlling, paranoid, deceptive. That's why this person left them because of the way that they were. But they wanted to blame this you. <laughs> You may have worked with this person. So that's why your person was stuck. Defending. That's the truth spirit saying. This person was actually defending you. This person was actually trying to protect you from this crazy person, and they are. Uh, that's a, a nasty, nasty karmic. So what's happening with this other lover? Because they had a vision. Oh, they had a vision that this crazy one was going to kill you. <laughs> so who's this person? That's who they went toward. 
Yep, they loved you. That's why they were at a crossroads. They had a vision that this crazy one was going to kill you. Maybe this crazy one threatened to kill you. So they went to another energy as a diversion, a distraction to get this person off your trail. Because your person left this person. Maybe they were in a committed relationship at one time. This person sees you as their forever person. But this crazy karmic thinks that this person de betrayed them, deceived them, and they're sworn to get revenge. They had to make a judgment call. They did not want this tower. They couldn't decide. They could not decide. This person did not want to ghost you, did not want to leave you alone. But somewhere along the line, this crazy person here wanted revenge on you and they knew darn well. So it's like in they involve someone else as a distraction to get this crazy one off your trail. This karmic may have threatened to kill you to this person threaten to destroy you. And your person got angry. Disemperor is angry that they lost you in the process. So that's why they did it. They chose this uh, friends with benefits situation to get this crazy karmic off of you. Because they were scared. They were scared that this karmic was going to kill you. They had a vision that this karmic was going to kill you. And you just thought that this person was not invested, that you were wasting your time with them. You just thought that this person would never change. You just thought that this person wasn't investing in you or that you were wasting your time with this person, that they didn't love you, that they were afraid to love you. Or this person Now they were deceptive, okay? But they know darned well that you were their destiny.
They had a strategy. I'm, I'm telling you that they did. The strategy was to protect you. So they used this shiny toy as a distraction. It was a plan. So this person was cheating with this little page here. An F buddy. Took on an F buddy as a distraction. Oh my God. Cowardly thing to do, it was. Okay. It's something to do with losing their chance. It's like something to do with a Ace of Pentacles crossing the reed. So, what is going on here? This is jealousy and envy. This is heavy burdens. Feeling conflicted, defeated. This is like... Something to do with financial burdens. Maybe they burnt this person. See, they knew that this karmic would get jealous and envious of whoever knew they brought in their life. So it's almost like this other person, this page that they involved with, they don't see the value in them. They were an F buddy, but they did it to get this karmic off your back. That's what they did. They don't see any value in this page. They're not wifey material. They're saying they did it because there were um, there were so many mind games going on, so many burdens that if they came toward you, they were going to bring all this your direction. <laughs> they are not marriage material. Whoever this f buddy is that they went sneaking to. It was a strategy to keep this crazy person off your trail. Because they see you as wish fulfillment. This King of Wands. Passionate about you. Oh my God. That's why they're crying over spilt milk. They're cold, they're detached.
Oh my God. This person got themselves in a heap of mess. They're spying on you. They love you. They want stability with you. They can hardly control themselves from talking to you, but they know if they do, it's going to start up again. They don't see. They know they owe you a huge apology for this manipulation. They know you're the Empress, okay? They see happiness with you. That's why. And then they sit in here. It's a plan. This person's got it all figured out what they're planning to do. They want to come back toward you and heal things with you. They are still thinking of you and you are the only one that this person wants to choose. They know they... They took a risk. They knew that they were going to lose you. They knew that they were going to lose you. But they figured it's better that you walk away from them than being hurt by this crazy ass lover. And they know that they're going to hurt this page too. Because they plan on coming to the Queen of Wands. That's what they're saying in this read. And I have to say what the reading is saying. That's what they're saying. So this, um, they dealt with someone before they dealt with you. And that's who we're talking about. It could be an ex-wife of theirs or someone that they were involved with for a period of time. And a long period of time. And it's like, this crazy karmic, when they met you, blamed you for everything. The destruction of their relationship, but by the looks of it, this relationship was overdue to the karmics. They are a karmic. Their own energy. Hateful, spiteful, vindictive, calculating, cunning. Uh, this person didn't love them. It was cold. It was bitter. It was dark and ugly. And then they met you. And they figured that they could have a nice life with you or something. This is a control freak. This is a narcissist. Beyond a narcissist. Threatening to kill you, threatening to make, they're making threats. So this person involved another person who probably is at a distance to keep this crazy person from, see, they were in a commitment. It's a broken marriage. So they are a karmic and they are vindictive and they are mean and they are nasty. They're bloodthirsty they're paranoid so that's why your person fell out of love with them by their own actions fell in love with you 
knew that you were their true love, the person they wanted to spend the rest of their life with. But this one was making threats to them that they were going to damage you somehow. And this person was actually protecting you. Involved another party, a friends with benefits situation who they will never marry or see as wifey material as a distraction to make this karmic think that this is the new person to keep them off of your path. This This is crazy. It is someone from their past. Not someone very unloving. Cold, calculating, the devil. The queen of swords in reverse. Oh, this person is nasty. That's why this person... They didn't want to bring you all these burdens and drama. They're actually protecting you from this, whoever this crazy person is. It's someone from their past who they think betrayed them, who they think, um, but they betrayed themselves. Like this. Because they were codependent. They were in it for this is a relationship of convenience. We'll stay together for the sake of the money. We will stay together for the sake of um, the kids or whatever or what people would say. But this person couldn't do it anymore. It w I don't even think you may have met this person around the time that they separated from this person. Or maybe, oh yeah, they try to have a relationship with you. And this person was not going to allow it. They're going to make your life a living hell. So they involve someone else to keep them off your trail. This is someone who is psychotic. For real. Take care.